Hey YouTube, this is Darrell from Scare the Light Book. I want to talk about the actual college scam that busted a lot of celebrities, coaches, and administrators. Um, notable celebrities that you would never, ever think to ever have an issue uh, with some kind of uh, um, unruly uh, cheating scam to get their kids in college, um, offering donations to um, false charities and representations, misrepresentations in hopes of getting their kids into college. Like you think that the wealthy or rich and famous would be able to just really kind of afford educational tools like tutors to help their kids. I don't know if it represents them not believing in their, their kids' abilities, um, being that, depending on how they raised them, if the kids were lazy or they didn't have any motivation, but to get them in to a scam or to pay for thousands of dollars, 50,000, 500,000, all across America, just to get your kids in USC, things like that is ridiculous, you know, I'm surprised, let's be honest. Lori Laughlin, I mean, I always love Lori Laughlin um, from Full House. I think she's preserved herself very well. She's still very beautiful. She has a, a blogger daughter that looks just like her. Um, I, I, I'm surprised that she's caught up in this scam and she ended up having to bail out at uh, a hundred thousand um, dollars. Felicity Huffman is another one. Um, she was on Desperate Housewives, and she received an Oscar nomination at one point. She was um, she she's incredibly a smart actress, a great actress. But I'm just surprised that she got caught up in it as well. She had to pay two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to get out of jail. Um, there's so many other celebrities attached to this and people of wealth throughout the United States. The scam culture busting people that are doing the wrong things is a good thing. We, we need it. However, um, I finally, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I finally have decided to really talk about uh, something that happened when I was in college. And today it made me see that what I did was the right thing. Um, I was in college and it was a program that was a math program. I'm not very good at math. Um, I've never been good at math, but it was a credit, no credit class. So it was almost designed to fail the students. The credit, no credit class is different from grades. Like I had a three point I uh, think believe 3.2 GPA on my regular A classes, B classes, and things like that. However, there was this one math class I had to take as a freshman, and it was basically a high level, well, it wasn't really high level math, but it was a lot of us, it was a lot of minorities in the program that, you know, we got into college and we were lumped in a group, so all the minorities we were in a special program, so, so we had to take math classes and the math classes were impossible. Um, we had um, teachers that had language barriers that made it very hard for people of color to uh, catch up or to learn or to understand. And it, it felt like it was designed that way for us to fail, for us to not get the understanding of what we needed to know. Um, the thing about it is, we went through the whole year, and the thing is, is that uh, I'll give you a perfect example. I could have a 4.0 GPA, but if I did not pass this credit, no credit math class, I would get kicked out of the school on suspension, and I would have to a year to retake the class to get back into it. So what happened with me and a lot of my fellow classmates at this college, um, I'm not even going to state the college. I mean, if you know me, you know what college it is. Uh, you did a little research, you'll find out that way. But I'm, I'm telling you now, when I got to the end of the year, I was kicked out. And before I was kicked out, there was like a last test, like a, a last test to 
see if you could pass and stay in school, you'd be able to register for your classes the next semester. Um, what happened with me is that it was this one person that I won't say his name, but he was very, very enthusiastic about passing it. And once I found out why, it's because he had the test answers. A lot of my writing, I kind of throw that in there because I felt like it was a personal experience. But he had all the test answers um, to pass. And the thing about it is I'm not going to knock him because I kind of like appreciated him for offering me a chance to take or, or to steal or to get the answers for this credit, no credit math class where your whole admissions into the college for the next year was depending upon it. All right, so what he did was he offered me a chance to, to actually take the test answers and I turned it down. But at least six or seven people took the test answer and he was trying to help because he knew that this was some bullshit. We was all under this strange pressure to either stay in school um, or pass a um, by passing a credit, no credit math class with teachers that all had language barriers for black and brown students that came from different areas, either some suburban, some um, urban areas. And basically getting into college was great. We were doing good overall in other subjects, but the way it was designed, it was like, don't matter if you got a 4.0 or 3.5, you were going to get suspended. And what really um, bothered me for the last, I would say, 18 years of my life is that I always was mad at myself for not taking those test answers because the guy, along with all the people he gave the test to, again, he was really trying to help us. And he was in the same boat, but he had the answers. Everybody that took that test answers from him, they graduated, they have either BAs or master's degrees. I don't have a BA or a master's degree. I only have um, about 60 units to go. If I went back to school now, I would be able to get a BA with my, I only have like 60 units left, but my life took a different turn. My, my life turn, turned totally different. I mean, I'll never forget how he asked me. He was like, man, come on. It was like he was begging me to take the answers. He was like, man, take the answers, man. It's no way you're going to pass. There's no way they're going to let you move forward in this college thing. And and I appreciated him for that. I really do. I'm still not going to say his name, but I really appreciated him because, you know, he put me in, a, he, he gave me a chance to, just, you know, get through and then get over. <laughs> but, you know, I I kind of was more, no, I don't want to cheat. I don't want to cheat. I, I will not cheat. Um, the thing is, is that I, 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 I fought myself for all those years. It's like, maybe I should have cheated because if I should have cheated, I would have had my BA, I would have had my master's, but my life quickly took a turn right after that. And so all the people that didn't cheat, they didn't get their degree. They didn't finish college. They didn't. It's a lot of stuff that, that came from that. And I felt like that was the single worst decision I ever made in my life. Until today, when I hear about Lori Laughlin, Felicity Huffman, and all the coaches taking money to pay for their kids to go to school. I don't know if they thought their kids were dumb. I don't know, but I believe they could have just <laughs> paid for tutoring, you know? But you you pay for kids to go to college, get a degree that they don't care about, halfway learn. So I would not want uh, one of the students to be become a doctor one day because if they did, their parents paid for them to get their degree to become a, a, a doctor and now they're performing surgery on you. But they wasn't the smartest kid in the class or they didn't pay attention to what they were doing. I would not want that situation to happen. But I mean, it, it just spells a bigger part of society that you have, you know, disadvantaged kids from all walks of life that are trying to get in school that have these these issues. That's why I brought up my situation and 
the fact that we were all minorities in a program that allowed us to get into college and perform and do certain things, but it came down to this credit, no credit math class, and I was offered a test with the cheap answers, and I did not take it, and it changed the whole course of my whole life based off of that situation, and that, that was the most immoral thing to do. Um, I talked to the dean, and I begged the dean, and it was a woman at that time, I begged the dean to allowed me to get back in. I was trying to do the best I could. After I was uh, suspended from college for that year, I went to four different JCs from fall semester, spring semester, summer. Um, I, was, I took a statistics class and I believe the only reason that the teacher passed me because I was my fourth time taking it I had to take the statistics. The reason why I did that is because if I passed that, I would never have to take math ever again. And that's that was my only like payoff. You know, um, the teacher, um, the, the, a year later after I was uh, kicked out of college, he, he passed me. But I believe this had a lot to do with the fact that my grandmother had just died and I was more so trying, but my mind and emotions were not there. But I tried to give them all I had because I wanted her to see me back at that school, but she never got a chance to do so. So this whole test cheating thing has finally made me let go of feeling guilty about not cheating. I did the right thing, my morals was correct, I did the right thing, even though I don't have my degree now, but it gives me a motivation to actually want to finish my degree one day. I don't know when, I'm not promising you when or whatever, but I was halfway there anyway. So I, I definitely feel that Lori Laughlin and Felicity Huffman they didn't have to go that route. They were beautiful actresses and smart, talented, witty, funny, and people had admired and loved them through different shows that they were on, but they had children that I don't believe they below, but they believed in. That's what it came down to. They did not believe in their children and their children's ability to get into UCL or USC and different schools on their own. Um, I, I believe that with their privilege and wealth, they've already created enough opportunities so they could have went to any college really and got a degree um, the right way and they would have been fine, they would have been okay. Now they're humiliated, their kids are humiliated. Now they're facing criminal charges for something that they did not have to do um, only with a wink and a nod, like, <laughs> come on, this is, this is America, but it's not, it doesn't mean that you follow certain things. I did not cheat. I did not get a degree. It changed the course of my life. I'm doing good now. I'm a, a published author. I have a good job. However, I still have so many dreams that I want to accomplish through education that I need to pursue and finish. But that, that guilt of feeling like that was the worst decision. I mean, it sounds bad. I want. I, I always felt like I should have cheated and that would have changed the course of my direction, but they're more emotional. My grandmother wouldn't have died. Like she would have held on had that year had I just cheated and did what I needed to do and ask for forgiveness from God later. But, you know, I, I, did, I did the right thing the whole time. And although I didn't receive all my roses right now, but I will get them. I will get them one day. And, and I just feel, I just feel like it really made me see some things and released a lot that I felt that I did the wrong, the right thing was the, was the wrong way of going about it, but it wasn't. Doing the right thing is doing the right thing. Having integrity is having integrity, not just having integrity a little bit. And although their lives look more successful, who knows uh, what they have to pay for for cheating. And it, I'm talking about my situation now. All right, so who knows what they have to pay for now, later on in life. Sure, they got their degrees and they have their masters because they did cheat. 
Me, on the other hand, I did not cheat, but I don't know if that means that I don't know with my income and different things. I don't know if that means that they're making as much as me or not. Who knows? But I am I believe I'm doing OK in, t in terms of things. I just want to push more for my educational goals now that I know that people from all over the country cheat by paying their kids uh, the college. I wish somebody paid for my college. I paid for my college myself. I won scholarships. I did what I had to do because I did not want my grandmother to have to pay it. Although my grandmother had the money, she could have wrote a check. But my, my goal just as a teenager was like, I don't want you to pay for, for college. And once I found out how to do that through scholarships and educational things that I had to work for, write essays. I sent out like five to six uh, scholarships and I won a lot of scholarships that I didn't even deserve GPA wise in high school. So I'm just letting you know, you don't have to cheat even though it looks like it's an easy thing to do. Your parents um, make the money and they can pay for your way into college. You, If you know anything about it, just let them know that don't do that. Just believe in me. Believe in me. That's what they the kids really need anyway, is their parents to believe in them. So just remember my message. You do not have to cheat, even though I'm telling you that I thought it was a mistake that I, that I didn't cheat for like, like 18 years. I really was hard on myself about not taking that test because there's moments in your life where you feel like, damn, that would have changed the course of my entire life. I would have had a degree and I would have ra rationalized it. Like if I would have cheated, I would have just asked for forgiveness from God. I would have just went in in a different direction. I made the I made the right decision, but that that nagging feeling that maybe I should have cheated, I would have gotten forgiveness later. That that was always in my mind. So just to let you know, do not cheat because it's no good way of going about it. Do not cheat. So this is my lesson. I'm a little scruffy right now. That's okay. Um, I had to do this video and let you know my story, what I went through dealing with college and going to, going the distance, really working. After I got kicked out, went to four schools to try to pass a test, um, or try to pass math that I was terrible in. Statistics, mind you, I passed it, but I never had to take it again. So the next time I do go back to college, it's going to be um, more so just taking other classes that I didn't take before and just adding those units to the units that I already have completed. So it wasted a lot of time. I didn't learn the lesson until today, again, that I should have, shouldn't have cheated. And the hard, the harsh punishments I thought I received from that were not really there because I shouldn't have cheated. I didn't cheat. I didn't get the degree. I didn't get the master's. Um, the ones that cheated did get the master's, they did get the degree, but I don't know what their life is like now. I don't know if they ask forgiveness for, for the cheating. I don't know. I don't know if they'll, they'll, they'll learn through their kids. Maybe their kids might have challenges and issues in education. Who knows? But as for me, I chose the right path, but I finally see that the right path was today. Seeing the college admission scam, that was the right thing for me. And I wanted to tell you what was going on. Again, my name is Daryl. Actually, I'm going to just, uh, this is what Daryl or Darrell, but I'm going to just say my name is Darrell. Um, I have a book called Scare of the Light, the Dream Memoirs of Russell Banks. Um, I don't have, uh, so basically I'll post that for you, but you can go to my website, scareofthelight.com. It is a it is a fantasy fiction series, and it has a great hero story uh, line to it. Um, it's available at Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, but um, anywhere where books sold, ebooks or paperback books. But just go to my website, scareofthelight.com, and I'll talk to you later in the next video. Peace.